Welcome everybody from our kitchen to your kitchen. This is Nicole Stanley on live. Hi. Okay, I'll tell y'all what I'm doing. I don't read comments very well while I'm cook because I usually don't talk while I cook. But I'll tell you what I'm doing. I've got butter and cabbage in this pot. I mean in this pan. Okay. I put a lot of butter in it, guys. Because most people will put oil or water. I do not put either one. I do butter. And she has the she has it on high heat, you guys. And I only do the butter because I want it not oily. Not so greasy. Okay, I don't want all that grease. So, there should be a knife somewhere. I'll get it. You just say put it down. Just do it. So, then I have this. My sausage, okay? Yes, I am gay, but I love sausage, okay? Guys, if you're in my life, I'm sorry, guys. I'm on TikTok, too. Guys, if you're in my life, I will not go live with anybody that I usually do not go live with. There is certain people I will let in my box. There is just because I'm not comfortable meeting new people on TikTok. All right, with that being said, Hi, okay. Kimberly. Welcome so, in. Welcome in, everybody. So, y'all come and look at this cabbage. Okay? Not TikTok. TikTok is okay. This is for your thing. Okay. So, with it being like this, this is how I wanted it, okay? Now, now I, is that a whole cabbage or a half a cabbage? No, this is a whole cabbage. Okay. And you put salt, pepper, yep. and butter. Okay. How many tablespoons? Oh, a lot of butter. A lot of butter. Some people so, don't like a lot of butter, but I love butter. So then I'm just going to cut these up. Okay. Now, is this a southern or Irish thing? It's uh, my so, grandma's. Her grandma's recipe for New Year's Day recipe. Okay, guys. So I'm just going to cut these up. Okay. So once again, she has a whole cabbage. Salt and butter, maybe like what, two sticks of butter? Oh, I don't know. I just took spoon. I just took that spatula right there, filled it up. And Let's just it say a tape, two two sticks of butter, and then one hole of Eckridge smoked sausage. Maybe what, one or two? All right, then you're going to put this on low heat. After you get it to tender a little, you're going to put it on low heat, okay? And because you, you have to do... So then... You just mix this up, okay? There's going to be a lot more sausage in this. Because I probably should have got two heads of cabbage. But I don't know if my family eats cabbage. But I'll sit here and eat this whole thing. So. <laughs> That's just that. With that being said. Okay, so. Now we'll just turn it on. low heat. I got it on very low, guys. Very low heat. Hold on. It's like super low heat, okay? But this is a gas, so gas cooks a lot faster than... So then we're going to leave that there, okay? Now we're going to... Oh, i got to figure out how to do this. Okay, so you take... Uh, actually, you don't use that. Because use it's this. gas... You put that in the, it's in the middle. About 350. 
So preheat the oven at 350. Okay. Now, mind you, between the electric and gas, it does make a huge difference only due to the fact that it does warm up a lot more quicker than the electric stove would be. Just, What's your measuring cup? It's, it's somewhere right there. Well, liquid or measuring cup? I already got it. Okay. Okay, now turn this way. That's done over there. Okay. Uh, we're just going to let it cook. Okay. So we're going to simmer. As you can see, it's simmering. As you can see, it's simmering on very low heat. All right. So this actually looks pretty good. So my wife said, now look at my face, my face up here. My wife says, why can't we make homemade cornbread? We do not make homemade cornbread, guys, okay? It is jiffy all the way. Make sure nothing. that you tell okay. them that you don't own the rights to jiffy, though, because I will be post. Oh, I do not own the rights to this, okay? Some rich um, person does, and that would not be me. <laughs> okay, so we need it. Oh, wasn't that Megan's? I'm just gonna be an Indian. She ain't gonna drink that shit. I'm gonna drink it. So then, why buy it? Thank you guys for well coming in to Kitchen Conversations. All right, guys, I don't measure nothing, okay? Where our kitchen is your kitchen. I just throw one egg in there. I don't measure nothing. Let me get a fork. Hold on. Okay. So, got me a fork here. Now, I want this to be fluffy, so I use milk. I do not use water. Some people use water. Water makes it fluffy. So... No, milk makes it fluffy. Water just uh, yeah. makes it. That's what I meant. Yeah. Milk um, makes it fluffy. I'm sorry, guys. It's been a long weekend. I'm sorry. Yes, and 48 hours. I have not, I have not just sat down and got to enjoy my house since I moved. We both haven't, to be honest. Mm hmm. So what's that right there? A little bit of sugar. Shh. Just don't say nothing. Okay? Okay. So we're going to put this. Okay, so she's gonna take this pan. I'm actually gonna wipe it off. It's clean, but where it's been in a box, I'm just gonna wipe it off. Where we moved. Alright, so we're gonna spray it. I'm just gonna dump it in there. Look at that. So she's making two batches. So that way the cornbread is like nice and thick. So we're just gonna do the same process. I'm just gonna repeat the same process I just did. Got my cornbread, my egg. But I gotta tell you something, even if we didn't enjoy our home a full day, but look, we're cooking in the kitchen. For the Every so often, guys, come and stir this. Okay, come and stir this up just a little. All right, so 
I'm just repeating the same thing I did before. Oh, you did take a picture of my arroz con pollo con mole, right? So. I'm assuming that's a yes. I, you want me to get better at this talking and working. So you're just going to have to keep up. Hi, booby. Hi, you guys. So Thank I, you for coming I'm just in. Doing the exact same thing, guys. in there. Hi. She says hi, firecracker. Alright, so, hi. I'm busy right now. She says she's busy right now. Mm -hmm. well, um, I love you. Should I take this spoon? Okay. Move it all the way. Cornbread, cabbage with smoked sausage. Oh, we have that the other day, but put bacon in it. Okay. She put bacon in it, too. That's good, too. But you don't eat bacon. With, with um, the, the kielbasa type stuff. Right. Yeah. So, you're going to have to go to this side and hide my way. I love my oven. This. I just explained to everybody that. Oh, we're gonna put it on the top. Yep. I just the bottom. I just explained to everybody the difference between a gas stove and electric. Where electric, it does take time to preheat the oven, but the gas stove, when it's gas stove, it's like it's different. All right, guys. This is Velveeta cheese. I already threw the pack in there, but I already threw the top of the box in there. What are you making with that? Cheese sauce. I don't typically like Velveeta. Oh, I love Velveeta. Do you? Yeah. It's okay. So, so we just get my handy knife. I know, I mean, it's okay, though. Well, I don't like it like, for, like macaroni and cheese. It means, like, yeah. Like, well, you need to like, try like, this. Stuff. She did try it. That's why she didn't like no, it. No, she needs to try this. Oh. Well, then grab a block of cheese. Because what we're going to do is grab the block of cheese. And we're going to... I'm going to pour some of this in it. I'm going to use this, this. But not very much, guys. Just enough to get the bottom of the pan a little wet. Throw this in there. Well, maybe shit far. Throw this in there. Okay. This is why I have bags chilling everywhere. Then I ain't gonna go nowhere. I need a can opener. It's in there. It should be in there, or it's where the silverware is at. If it's in that one, then I'm going to the back. Can you put this? Yeah, I was going to say, you're going to have to work your magic over here. Tomatoes. So, um, doesn't that get annoying going back and forth? Nope. Well, oh, shit. All you need is just one can, baby. So how you been? Happy New Year's, by the way. Girl, I, I fell asleep on the couch last night. Um, till about 10 minutes to noon. Hi, Glenn. All right, so we're going to do it like this. Hi, sweetheart. How you doing? I'm doing well. 
So we got homemade cheese salsa with chips. And then we got cabbage and sausage with butter and salt on low heat and we're simmering. Simmering it down. All right, guys, this is huh? Jack, because I want mine a little spicy. What'd you say? She makes everything. Okay, yeah, where is Mary? She's in the kitchen right now. Okay. So, hi, Overcome. I want mine a little spicy. Glenn, you gotta turn your TV down. It's gonna be a little spicy anyways due to the tomatoes. But I want mine a little more spicier. Tea does. Dude. <laughs> There's your fire crack. That's okay. I can still watch it. Oh, yeah. Have a bite. I don't know how to read lips. We're making homemade pizza. Oh, are you really? What kind? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have a crustless pizza, though. So. A crustless? Yes. All right, guys. Now, come over here and show them. You oh. are going to have a lot of butter. Guys, if I can tilt it. You are going to have a lot of butter. That's probably about a cup of butter at the bottom of this. And that's okay. Please do not drink it all by itself. Oh, no, because it's oh, come not, on, why not? That's not going to be good for you. Now, I am going to try it. Because every good cook tries her cooking. Nope, it's oh. missing something. Oh, yes. And even when William's cooking, he'll bring it out to me to try it, too. Yeah. Nicole would be my test taker, yes. Mary does that to me all the time. She'll bring bring it a little piece to me. Yeah. Taste it. Let me know. Of course. Right. So how does it feel to be in the new home? It feels great, Glenn. It does. Um, ask, ask me um, next weekend because I ain't doing nothing next weekend. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna enjoy my home next weekend. <laughs> no, I mean, she really I, is. I have not stopped since. So Thursday. here's the stove and here's the refrigerator, and that's it for the kitchen on this side, and our little bitty counter space. But then here's. Our kitchen. Uh, you're missing. We'll have to show Glenn in a minute. Okay. But here's the kitchen right, with the whole so bunch of cabinet space. I do want my stuff a little spicy because I am half Mexican. Okay. So. How is it that you're half Mexican? Well, because I like everything spicy and so does Mexicans. So I'm just a little white Mexican. <laughs> so we're just going to put all this in there. Use my wife's favorite cheese. I better give her a bite before I get in trouble. All right, guys. So we're just going to put this. You know, being half Mexican means your, your family's half Mexican and then your other no, half is white. I'm just, it's just me. It's just me. No family, no nothing. Just me. I might have to open this one up. We'll see. You do need milk, though. For what? To make it creamy and so that way you're not burning the cheese and the oh, tomato yeah. sauce and the t diced tomatoes. You always want to put a little bit of milk. That way it doesn't dry out. <laughs> well, I usually put it in there after it melts. So. All right, guys, this does not look appetizing with that milk in there, but I promise you it is. So we're going to put it in there. And there's the cornbread. And we're just going to watch it, okay? And there you guys have it. And we will show you, get, hold on for a minute, and we will show you pictures later on, so stay tuned with our short story and our pictures from Instagram and TikTok, Bella Stanley 45 and what do you want to say, babe? Okay, well, oh, look at this cute little towel. This is from the 70s. <laughs> Thanks. But from our kitchen to your kitchen. Oh, I need some. Have a great day. Say bye. Adios.